Controversy over right to know documents causing friction between Somerset County commissioners and residents of the county. Some county workers and residents say the commissioners are hiding evidence. The commissioners say people are weaponizing the use of the right to know forms. Stoker Wysorek is live with the full story. Stoker? Yes, Jen and Sean, the friction was apparent in today's meeting. The commissioners saying the progress has been made while the public says they don't see it and that this is the reason for filing the amount of right to know requests that have been seen here. It was signed sincerely the concerned employees of Somerset County. Tuesday's Somerset County Commissioner's meeting started with a room consisting of disgruntled employees and residents. One of the issues where attendees say they don't see any progress in is allegedly with the 911 center in downtown Somerset. Somerset County Treasurer Tony DeLuca accusing commissioners of allowing county employees to get paid when they reportedly weren't working. He says this is why one of the right to know requests was filed. Our county commissioner Pam Tokar Ickes clearly stated at the May 23rd meeting that every bill that comes across the commissioner's desk has an itemization. Well, then why is our treasurer saying that there's none? DeLuca and others allege that the commissioners destroyed evidence, including the extra pay that they say was given to 911 employees. Can you tell us why those documents and electronic files were deleted? According to state law, computer records must be retained for one year. DeLuca says the solicitor told him that they only keep records for two weeks due to the amount of employee logins. Somerset County commissioners say there were none of those documents to begin with. They say this knowledge would have already been public if it existed in the first place. They say the extra pay is due to new hires. We, we've hired new dispatchers. We've trained new dispatchers. Uh, at our last meeting, we announced to support staff for the eventual director to come in. One fire chief says he is still concerned. It's like we have a traumatic injury that needs a tourniquet and we're trying to put a Band-Aid on it. It's, it's, it's not helping. Nothing has changed in the last six months. Commissioners say that public portions of pay at the 911 center cannot be handed over without parts of it that would reportedly jeopardize the system's security. Reporting live in the newsroom, Stoker Wysorek, 6 News.